Hello everyone, today we're going to do some exercises for grade 1. Please stay focused and let's begin. Complete. The number 25 is formed from two tens and five ones. If we look at 25, any number that formed from two digits, the digit to the left presents the tens and the digit to the right presents the ones. So 25 is formed from two tens because two is written at the left of the number 25 and five ones because one is written to the right of the number 25. The number 29 now is formed from how many tens? We look at the digit to the left. We found it two, so two tens. And how many ones? The digit to the right is nine, so nine ones. If we have 13, we have one ten and three ones. The number 20, we have two as tens because two is written at the left and zero is written at the right, so zero ones. We don't have any ones. Complete, we have 11 is equal to 10 plus a number. What number is that? We have how many numbers we have to count from 10 to 11? We have to count 10, then 11, only one number. So 11 is equal to 10 plus 1. We have 15 is equal to 10 plus a number. 15, if we want to count from 10 to 15, we have to count 5. Because 10 is the number written at the left of 15. We have now to add the number to the right, which is 5. 23 is equal to 20 plus a number. The ones, how many ones we have in 23? If we want to know how many ones there is in 23, we have to look at the digit to the right. So it's 3. That's why 23 is equal to 20 plus 3. 29 is equal to 20 plus a number, plus the ones. How many ones we have in 29? We have to look at the digit to the right, at the right digit. So the right digit in 29 is 9. That's why 29 is equal to 20 plus 9. 18 is equal to 10 plus 8, of course. 14 is equal to 10 plus the ones, which is 4. 20 is equal to 20 plus, of course, nothing, because we arrived to 20. There is nothing at the ones. The ones number is 0. 22 is equal to 20 plus the ones, which is the digit to the right in 22, which is 2. 10 is equal to 10 plus the ones. And can we see the ones number in 10 is 0? So 10 is equal to 10 plus 0. Complete with the following signs, bigger, smaller, or equal. We have 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Which number is bigger, 14 or 15? Of course, 15. So we put the bigger sign towards the 15. We have 20 plus 1, which is 21, and we have 10 plus 9, which is 19. The bigger number is, of course, 21, so we put the sign towards the 21. We have 10 plus 7 is equal to 17, and 10 plus 8 is equal to 1, and 8 beside it, the 1s. So which number is bigger, 70 or 18, of course? 18. We have 20 plus 8, which is two tens and eight ones. So we put 2 and 8 beside it, which is 28. We have 20 plus 5, which is 2, and 5 beside it, which is 25. Which number is bigger, 28 or 25? Of course, the 28. We have 20 plus 9, which is 29, and 10 plus 9, which is 19. Which number is bigger? We have to look at the tens. Which ten is bigger in these two numbers? Of course, the 29 is bigger because it has two tens, while 19 has only one ten. So 29 is bigger than 19. We have 10 plus 8, is, which is 18, and 20 plus 1 is equal to 21. If we want to compare these two numbers, we have, first of all, to look at the tens digit, which is the, the left digit. 
we can see that 21 has two tens while 18 has only one ten and this is enough to decide that 21 is bigger than 18. Break down into tens and ones. If we have 25, the left digit in 25 is the number of tens and the right digit in 21 is in 25 is the number of ones. So 25 we have two tens and of course five ones. 34 we have three as tens and four as ones. 48 the number of tens is the digit to the left which is four and the number of ones is the right digit in 28 so eight. 42 we have four tens and two ones of course 29 has two tens and nine ones. Forty-three now. Four as tens because it's at the left and three ones because it's the right digit. Four. Four is supposed as the right digit. So it's the number of ones. But how many tens we have? We have nothing at the left. Or we can say there is only zero at the left. So we have zero tens and four ones. 37 we have 3 at the left so 3 tens and 7 at the right so 7 ones 40 we have 4 tens because 4 is located at the left and we have 0 ones because we have 0 at the right there is no ones we have 39 now 3 at the tens and 9 of course ones Circle the correct number and cross out the order. We have three tens and four ones. Three, we put three at the left and four at the right because the number of tens is always at the left and the number of ones is always at the right. So if you put three and four beside each other, three at the left and four at the right, we end up with 34. So we circle 34 and we cross out the other one, which is 43. Let's go to the right now. We have four tens and one ones. So four at the left and one at the right, we end up with 41. So we circle 41 and we cross out the 14. We have two tens and three ones. So we put two at the left and three at the right because the number of tens has to be at the left and the number of ones has to be at the right. So the number is 23. So we circle 23 and we cross out the 33. We have three tens and two ones. We, we put three and then two beside it. So the number is 32 and we cross 23. We have four tens and two ones. We put four at the left and two at the right and we end up with 42, of course. And we cross out the 24, of course. Two tens and four ones we put two at the left and four at the right and we end up with 24 and we cross 42 three tens only we put three <clears throat> at the left and we put nothing or zero at the right so the answer is 30 we cross the three then we have three ones we put zero at the left or nothing and three at the right and we end up with three so the answer is 3 here, and we cross out the 30. Write as number form each other of the following. We have 3 tens and 2 ones. We put 3 at the left and 2 at the right, so we end up with 32. We have 4 tens and 5 ones. We put 4 at the left and 5 at the right, so we have 45. Two tens and six ones is equal to 26. Four tens and eight ones, 48. Three tens, so we put three at the left and we put nothing at the right, or we can just put zero at the right, and we end up with the number 30. If we have one ten and nine ones, we put one, and then beside it to the right nine, <clears throat> and we end up with 30, with 19. If we have three tens and nine and three ones, 
the number will be of course 33 because there is 3 and 3 beside each other we have 2 10s and 7 ones we put 2 at the left and 7 at the right and we end up with 27 thank you for your listening and goodbye